Hi, if you've got a Sigma Sport BC1200 like this and you've just changed the battery, you need to um, do the following in order to set the right wheel size and, and uh, miles per hour. First of all, in order to change the battery, you do not need to touch these four screws. Just twist the clip off with a quarter turn twist and it pops right off. So um, in order to access the setup mode, you either change the battery or you press and hold this button and I'm going to do that I'm going to press it while looking at the front so that you can see what it looks like and so right now it's going to say settings and it's going to pop into language so this is chances are uh, where you are at if you've just changed the battery now to toggle between the different settings use this button here on the front and this is mainly what we're going to be concerned with is miles per hour, kilometers per hour, and the wheel size. There are a bunch of other things that you can go in and tweak if you want to, um, but you don't have to. And, and in fact, we're in English here, so we're going to leave it there. But in general, when you want to change a setting, you press the set button, and I'll show you how to do that. So here we are, miles per hour and kilometers per hour. Let's use the set button in the back and you just toggle that quickly, just press it quickly, and now it comes up flashing kilometers per hour. Use this front button to uh, select miles per hour or toggle back to kilometers, whichever you want. In this case, we're gonna go with miles per, hour, miles per hour, and we just press and hold this quickly just for a second so it's set. And now we move to the next function, which is wheel size. And again, it says if you wanna set that, Go back to the set button on the back and just press it quickly. Right, so now what it does is it comes up and the first number is flashing. What you need to do now is to get it so that the uh, number reads what it says on the instructions. In our case is 1270. This mode button toggles you between the digits the top button over here is the one that changes the numbers so we want the first number to be a one because we want to set it to one two seven zero and that's true for this uh, d3 rotor it's a different number for different rotors so um, we use the top button here to toggle around until we get it to be a one then we use the mode button to go to the next digit and we want this to be a two, so we go to the top one, make it a two, go to the bottom one, and change this one to a seven, with using the upper one, one, two, and like I said, if you go too far, it's like, oops, don't worry, just keep pushing it until you come back around to the number you want, and then finally, the last one, is uh, five, we want it to be a zero, so we just press the top button until it's a zero. And that's the correct wheel size in this case for a D3 rotor. So if we're happy with this, we've got it set to miles per hour, we've got it set to 1270. Now what we do is go back and press the set button and now this wheel size is set okay. So we're still in the settings uh, mode and the way to get out of that now is, and I'm going to press this from the back while watching on the front, and I'm pressing it, and you see settings end, and now let go of that button. So you need to hold that button on the back until you're through settings end, and now it's calibrated. So what you do now is you just twist it back into the display bracket until you hear a nice clip and you just connect it back to your anemometer and you're ready to go. That's it for a Sigma Sport BC 1200. Thank you and have a wonderful day.